This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is the Ramble, and we go till hell freezes over. Oh yeah, let me turn on my lights here. There we go. Okay, and uh, wait a minute. I gotta get my camera up. There we go. Okay, I forgot to turn my lights on. I do it at the last minute. I pushed the wrong button in the... Uh, hey there, how are you? What's happening? Are you good? You doing okay? All right, fine. I'm, I'm surviving. Okay. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. I just, uh, uh, I just, uh, I wonder what I would do at the first uh, half hour of this program tonight. And then I went, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we always, uh, we always bring on, uh, th th this guy here. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Let me, there we go. There he is. What are you, what are you doing? Huh? What is, what, is, what is that? That is a, uh, one of your listeners' ballots who voted for Lee Zayden in your, um, uh, what would you call it, uh, gubernat gubernatorial race. It's not Zayden, it's Zeldin. Well, I'm glad you finally learned his name. What do you mean, I've finally learned his name? I know, I've known his name all along. This didn't mean that I wanted to pay attention to it, you know. Well, uh, how you doing, Alex? Well, Lee Zeldin isn't doing too well today. No, no, but he, I, I don't think he's um, conceded yet. No, because he's a Republican and he's an asshole. Well, uh, you know. Uh, Why we'll, hasn't he conceded? We'll get into this. Why hasn't huh? he conceded? He lost. Well, uh, he knows that some of the votes that were in a box that they're going to find under a table will put him over the top. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, hey, it works for Democrats. Please don't try and be an election denier, Phil. That doesn't work. It, te uh, it seems to turn out. Well, you know, uh, it doesn't work because the Dems uh, fight it. If somebody says, you know, something wasn't right about the election, you immediately get pushback. Oh no, you're a conspiracy person. It, it doesn't no, work. No, but it no. But what did the, you do? Wait a minute. There, there are these what, politicians what out there who are running. Oh God, he, forget yeah. it. Trump's days are over with now. After this election, he's finished. You know, I noticed that just about everybody that he backed, uh, or at least half the people he backed, no, did, no, no. And no. those that he shied away from and went after, like. Uh, uh, DeSantis and uh, mm -hmm. the Kemp. Yeah, one. Uh, and uh, the uh, Ro Rosenberger. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You went after all those people and they won. And they won big. Yeah. So maybe the Trump. Why uh, don't you admit? Why over. don't you, the, the Trump era is over? Well, uh, you know this. This may this may prove it. You know. Now he I was mean, supposed to announce this week that he was going to run for president. I don't think he's going to. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think after this, I mean, it was a drubbing. It really you know, was. They, it was a repudiation. They, they, it was a repudiation of Trump. The Trump they, is not the person that you want to have backing you. Well, okay? they elected a guy who was half dead in Pennsylvania over a heart surgeon. Uh, you know, no matter what you think about Oz... The man is is a medical doctor. He's a heart surgeon. So he what? Very so very what? good. So what? His influence. So what? His influence in the uh, in the Senate could have been very positive. Oh yeah, like his influence. Medical. Like his influence was very positive on his TV show where he was hawking like snake oil. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, uh, don't you? If you had the opportunity, wouldn't you be selling the fabulous hits of the fifties? Hmm. You know, those guys that get on the radio no, and say, hey, you no, know, the fabulous no, hit of the, no, of the no, 50s and 60s. No, no. And they're all cover bands that uh, that do those hits. Yeah. Oh. You know, they're yeah. not the original. Yeah. 
the original one. But anyway, so, yeah, Kathy Hochul won. Uh, I can't say that I'm happy that she won. I don't like Kathy Hochul, but, you know, I mean, I was forced to vote for her. I, th I was forced to vote for Chuck Schumer because I think he was the only person running for Senate in this, in this you know, state. What happens when you don't uh, fill in a person's name if they're the only one and, and you don't like or you don't like them? Or I don't know if I don't fill let's in. Let's say there's a Green and a Democrat, and I didn't want either one, so I didn't let's vote. Say, for let's say when I got to that Kathy Hochul, right, yeah. that, that, there, I didn't vote, okay? I just didn't fill that part of it out. Does my vote get negated? I don't know. Uh, it, you know, it is well. Let's say, let's say there was no Republican on that particular race. Mm -hmm. uh, then I, I don't know. Uh, they say that if you don't vote, uh, then the uh, opponent, uh, you know, it's like it's it's you don't have a vote for your person. Let's say Hochul, and so therefore, that's one vote that is, uh, Zeldin doesn't have to overcome. Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean it's a vote he gets. You know. Well, no, it's not a vote he gets, but just remember, for every vote that goes to your opponent, you need two votes to overcome, you know, well, well you need that plus one more eventually. Yeah. You know. Uh, but well, will you at least admit, Phil, that the red wave didn't happen? It was a red dribble. It, was, it wasn't a red wave. The only thing, the only red wave that we had was a wave goodbye to Dr. Oz. Well, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, the only thing I got is an orange thing. Uh, but um, And, you know, I don't know what possesses some of those people in Georgia. I mean, come on, Walker is not... He can't put. He can't string two words together. They, I've an, seen sentences that he's that made, and you try to read them and make sense of what he's trying to say, and it doesn't make sense at all. Made sense to me, but let me let me really. Ask then you, you must be a moron like he is. Probably, but let let let's ask uh, about um, War Warnock. Now uh, the the left has come out with all of these hits against. Uh, 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 Herschel Walker. No, no hits. It's just he's a moron. No, no listen. They, they, okay, they okay, okay. He put a gun to his wife's head. Okay. Well, no, that was that was Warnock. No, no, Warnock. That, no, was accused. no, no. That was Walker. Uh, well, that was Walker. The the Walker things that uh, seem to have possibly hurt him were the paying for abortion. Yes, but also. Pointing a gun at his wife's head. Well, you know, the guy had some mental problems. Now, the thing about Warnock is supposedly he's got some domestic abuse issues. He's got a, a covered up sexual abuse issue in his church. He's got uh, 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 some rent uh, throwing, throwing people out for not making small portions of their rent. So there's all sorts uh, of things. And, about and, I'm, Warnock, so, and I'm supposed to believe you're, you're, these You're are, okay these supporting are, them. No, right? I'm not supporting that because I don't know that it's true. Well, then how do you know that the accusations against Herschel Walker are true? Oh, because they've got receipts. No, that wasn't a receipt. That was a card and a donation. No, it, it didn't say uh, for an abortion. It said, uh, you know, get well soon, and there's 700 No, no, there, there's also a receipt. There's a check. Well, that was her receipt. There's a check that he yeah, made the check out to her. Was was with the card. It said, "Get well soon." Yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. I, I, oh, I've sure. sent you cards. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil. <laughs> Quit trying to excuse bad behavior. Okay, and, it doesn't. And, and the same, it, it doesn't same become you. you because I think deep down, you don't approve of the kind of things Walker was accused of. I don't approve of the kinds of things any of these people are accused of. I believe in doing the right thing and living a, an honest, an honest life that mm -hmm. you do, you do better for, for everyone around you. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, I and, do I, that. and I don't buy that. I used to have mental problems, but I don't now as an excuse, you know, I'm sorry. Okay. You're better now. Good. I'm glad you got well. I don't have to vote for you and think that maybe you might fall back or slide back into your old habits. Maybe if he had mental problems, he'd fit right in the Senate. He has mental problems. Look at him. He's had too many bumps to the head for crying out loud. Uh, 
I don't know. The, you know, I I think that uh, everybody, if he's elected by his peers, just like in Pennsylvania, uh, you had a you have a guy that's impaired. Uh, you got a guy that uh, has lied. No, but he's uh, impaired. He wasn't impaired prior to his stroke. Now he's post stroke and he's getting better. And by the uh, time he winds up going to Washington, he the doctors claim he's going to be in quite good shape. Okay, well, this is the problem I have with him. He said that he was against fracking in 2018. Uh, do, do you he care about fracking? Do you care about fracking? Well, I care about jobs in Pennsylvania. Do you care about fracking? You're a Republican. Vo Republicans jobs. vote for fracking. Yes, but I care about jobs in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so what, what are you what are and you arguing about if he was for I want fracking? cheaper I want cheaper gas. I want well, I want fracking fra able. fracking is not cheaper gas, it's cheaper um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Removing the gas. No, it, the it, gas it's not a gas for the car. It's, it's, no, it's it's heating it's it's, it's heat, gas for the house. Yeah. Yeah. It's gas to run your stove, it's gas to run your oven, uh, it's gas to run uh, uh, yeah. your heater. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, people this year are going to have to start choosing between heating their house and feeding their kids. And I want cheaper yeah. gas. Well, I want to sit around. I want to sit around and watch the Republicans lower the cost of things. I want to see this. Well, I, the, uh, now, there's a problem. Uh, now, if if the Republicans, they say they're going to win the House. I don't think it's a fait accompli yet. Is but it? they've got they've got two years to make the economy better and to get prices down and they never won't, gonna happen. it's never gonna happen. And, and they, I'll tell you why. they will then have that to come bite them in the well, ass. I, I'll, I'll tell you why it's not gonna happen. Uh, there's gonna be such a slim majority uh, in the Republican House that- Oh, now you're, you're gonna, gonna blame it on the Democrats again. No, no, no. I'm gonna blame it on their inability to uh, no, no, forget about their inability. Done. They, what's his name? The uh, the the new speaker, Kevin, the, uh, McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy, got up and said, "Oh, everything's going to be better now. We're going to lower prices." Blah 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 blah. So he said they're going to do it. So and he knows that it's not going to be a, a, a heavy majority. Okay. I don't okay. give Kevin McCarthy sixty days until he's replaced as speaker by uh, Scalise. Or um, there, there's uh, one other or Marjorie uh, Gr Taylor Green. Taylor Green. Well, you know she's one of the top fundraisers. Oh in the Jesus! Oh, this is, this is, this is, don't even talk about that. No, no, no I mean, she don't she, even you know, talk about that. You know. Okay. Well, okay. I don't think that the the Republicans are going to have enough of a majority, and that they're going to be a group of very uh, right leaning, uh, you know, uh, conservatives that are going to. None of those people agenda. are Phil. First of all, none of those people are conservatives. Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene is not I'm a conservative. I'm not talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene. There are other people in the party that were just elected, that were just elected, mm -hmm. that will uh, cause uh, some gridlock in the in the Republican uh, leadership. No, the and Republicans... I don't think the, they're going to the, be able to get anything done. The, the Republicans are going to change because they're going to have to change. They see the writing on the wall. They all put their their eggs in the... Donald Trump basket, and it came to it came around to bite them in the ass. So well, not so a, not now they're going to have to change. They're going to have to change their tune. All of a sudden, you watch in the next uh, oh six months, you're going to have so many Trump deniers. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, People well, who were formally for him. I think I think what happened yesterday uh, was a referendum on Trump, uh, and those Republicans that distanced them themselves from Trump did better than those that didn't look at ohio well jd vance won and he was being and supported he, he was he was sucking trump's dick yeah mm -hmm. well uh, yeah but i am very happy that jd vance and and trump isn't Alabama even a hill, uh, trump isn't even a hillbilly and, and not uh what's his uh, yeah hillbilly eggly or something uh, uh, eggly? And, eggly? Do, do you know the english language no so uh, uh well, actually now, the joke is do you know the king's english and well i didn't know he was but uh, <laughs> yeah really i always thought he was or whatever yeah so anyway uh tim ryan uh he ran uh, didn't he run with hillary as uh to as a vice presidential I, candidate? no i don't think so that was uh, another ryan it wasn't tim ryan no no Oh, okay. Then, then he's not well, as big as this, this Ryan. Control. You know, was gutsy. He 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 could have run for Congress again and probably mm -hmm. won because he's 
very likable and liked in that area. Yeah. We do have, uh, by the way, we do have a new kind of democratic, uh, what can we call it, hotshot guy who, you know, could very well wind up running for president someday. Very nice, good speaker, everything. And that's Shapiro out of, out of uh, oh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he did a, uh, you know, there was a lot of split tickets. And uh, uh, the thing about electing Shapiro, because I think Fetterman, within a few months, is going to resign uh, for health reasons. And, and so the, I believe it's the governor appoints the replacement senator. Mm -hmm. They don't have a special election, do they? No. Uh, so, the, so the governor replace, uh, re, appoints the re, uh, replacement senator. Now, Shapiro is a Democrat. Fetterman's a Democrat, and uh, it, there's a good argument for uh, appointing another Democrat. Uh, so uh, there's no question he would he would uh, go with a Democrat, and right. even if he were a Republican, he probably should have gone should go with a Democrat because that's who they elected was a Democrat. You know that's that's true. Have, have do you know of any time when a Republican governor, for instance, put in a Republican to well, replace? I'm, I'm sure there have been. Yes, absolutely. You know, yeah. I don't know. I can't name one, but I'm sure there are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, that's that. You know, that was the only hope beyond hope. But yes, it was a red dribble, uh, or or a misting, mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of a wave. Uh, but uh, it it wasn't what I expected, and it wasn't what a lot of other people expected. I mean, the, the Democrats were even planning on having a bad night. Yeah. You know. I was just waiting to see how bad it was going to be, and then it turned around, and things are pretty good, you know. I mean, um, the, the there are still some people that are are you know, some of, uh, some of them are still um, uh, waiting to be resolved. Things like Nevada. Yeah, uh, Waxwell, I guess, is ahead. No, he's not. But, uh, no, they, they're saying she's ahead. Then he's yeah. ahead. It's it's. But, you know now is that going to result in a 50 50 senate again uh you know if you look at the races that are left it could uh, it could it, it could was but they, they, they say that if everything goes the way people expect they're going to go the yeah the dems will have 51 really yeah yeah well uh, i guess the republicans expect it to go a different way what <laughs> the republicans you know they're thinking that herschel walker that the libertarian uh who won't be running in the runoff because it looks like walker warnock is going to a runoff yeah and so okay. if it goes to a runoff mm -hmm. and walker uh gets enough of the libertarians vote uh that i would think that many of them would go to him there's a really oh, good i don't think they go to him i think they probably go to they go to the uh go to the democrat be honest with you let me let me explain say something here though yeah. i think it is grossly unfair to have a runoff and and, and here's why okay yeah. uh you had an election um people voted they got it went you know got in their cars and went down they voted or they mailed it in and put the stamp on the thing and whatever they had to do to vote okay yeah. and in great numbers and uh, all of a sudden they say, eh, you know, nobody got a 50%. We're going to have to have a runoff. But that's well, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now we go into a runoff. Yeah. Do you think they're going to have as many people going to vote in a runoff as voted in the original election? No. Uh, but no, uh, no. Dems will come up with a bunch of ballots that all of a sudden they found on the side no, of no, the road. Just stop it, Phil. Stop uh -huh. it. Stop it. Okay. Don't be, don't be a, a dick. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, just be a Phil. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, you you yeah. were saying there was less people. Yeah. Uh, and so so with, there'd be the, probably less people who will vote, and it will all be different, you know, than it would have been. Let me ask you this: uh, in a runoff, do they have mail-in ballots? I don't know. I think so. Okay. If they didn't have mail-in ballots, that's uh, because the mail-ins usually trend to the Democrat. Uh, you know, uh, and they, uh, for instance, that's what was going on in Arizona. Uh, there's a chance, uh, what is it, McMaster's or Masters will uh, possibly uh, beat um, Kelly. Uh, no, no. Chance. Have you seen the numbers? Not even close. Not even well, close. Right now, but there's no, Maricopa no, no. County. It, it, uh, Maricopa County will probably go for Kelly. 
you think so? I mm-hmm. thought Maricopa mm-hmm. County was a real Republican county. They're saying that, that the, the votes that are left will probably favor Kelly. I mean, he's... You know uh, what the one guy's got has got like forty five percent, and Kelly's got like fifty five, something like that. I mean, it's, well, it's, it's, it's a big the, difference. The thing is, uh, the uh, what's happening with the votes that are coming in from Maricopa County? They're uh, increasing Kerry Lake's lead uh, over. No, Hop. no, hers is still she's still way behind. Well, uh, they, do you, do you watch the I news? heard on the news they were breaking which for new, which uh, news? Well, I don't listen to MSNBC. That's for sure. Well, uh, do you watch just do you re- just uh, read uh, li- watch the general? Uh, co- you know, what general. Well, C- CNN is now in the middle. CNN is now in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you could also go over and look at BBC or any one of them, and and find out that Kerry Lake is fall has fallen quite behind, uh, whoever the governor yeah. is there. Well, that, that'd be interesting. I, uh, Carrie Lake, by the way, election denier, not doing that girl. well. Not doing that well. <laughs> what? Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> right. Deny yeah. that election. You know, this, it, it, elect, election, you were going to find out tomorrow how many of these politicians say, oh, I wasn't an election denier, you know, just trying to get the stink off themselves. Well, uh, we'll see. What about, you know, what about uh, Abrams now in uh, 2000, was it 16 or 18? Wasn't she an election denier uh, with uh, the, the gubernatorial race in Georgia? No. She said that, uh, that she got a raw deal and she refused well, to. Well, th- th- uh, there, there have always been certain, certain problems in Georgia where that's concerned. Uh, I think Stacey Abrams did not. Uh, did not win for governor, but she won a lot of other elections. I mean, it's because of her that, for instance, Warnock is doing as well as he's done. Okay, and and uh, she's had an influence on a lot of Georgia politics, in, in, no matter what. And she'll still be around for many many years to come, and could eventually wind up being governor eventually, but not now. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that her uh, 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 panache is is tarnished as well. I, how? Uh, well, uh, that you know, she's she's lost twice, mm-hmm. and what the Dems seem to do is they always want to in, in a state where a losers. black woman has never been elected. Phil, what do you mean? A black woman uh, has never been elected to to the governor, to maybe the governor, and I don't think as a senator either. No, but Congress people. There are no, no, Congress. I'm talking about in Georgia. Yeah, but Georgia rep- Congress congressional representatives. I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's, there's some black representatives. Yeah, but not yeah. there's not senators, not governors. You know, yeah. she she took the high road. She took the difficult road to 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 success here. You know? Well, there's never been a black woman that's been elected to the presidency of the United States either. But uh, you know, there's always a first time. Uh, you know, I, I'm happy that the that the Congress is, even though I don't think the Republicans will get anything done, I think that it will be the same gridlock that uh, existed uh, prior to. Uh, you know, maybe what we need is we don't need. You know, I used to think that a, and it used to work that a uh, divided uh, uh, Senate and Congress, yeah. know, Congress being one stripe and Senate, Senate being another, was actually good for the country because then a lot of compromise would happen and so on. But in nobody, this, compromises. nobody compromises anymore. So, well, so maybe having nothing but Democratic Congress, Democratic President, Democratic Senate, or Republican President, you know, whatever, right. With more stuff would get done. It might not be the kind of stuff I want to see done if they were Republican, but stuff would get done. Well, that's true. It's just that that's not the way it's supposed to happen. Yeah, and but but I, but, they, I, but it's and not, it used to. And, but Under no, Reagan, but nobody nobody who created this whole system ever said, you know, day is going to come when these people are not going to get along with each other. Yeah, you know, Tip O'Neill and and President Reagan and uh, you know the. There, there were, there were, t- there was a time when people actually were 
uh, statesman and and represented look, the people. Look, one of the best presidents we ever had, and you probably, most people don't think this because he, he just did it, was, was Lyndon Johnson. Because he was able to like, get, he get a whole bunch of senators in the, into the uh, Oval Office. He, he and, twist arms. And he'd sit them down there, and he'd twist their arms and get stuff right. done. He knew how to play them, and he knew they knew him, and they all respected each other, and it was a good, he, he became a pretty good president. He got a lot of stuff passed. He got more civil rights legislation passed than any single president of the United States. Do you think that he was behind the Kennedy assassination? Absolutely. You know, it <laughs> happened in Dallas. I mean, that, that was his home state. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, it launched him into the presidency and got rid of uh, Jack Kennedy. All I'm uh, saying is, I uh, listen. I got to tell you, I think he was in cahoots with Ted. Uh, uh, Ted, what's his name's uh, father? Uh, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz's father. Yeah. yeah. No, well, here's the thing. Um, I think that uh, Johnson was a better president than Kennedy. Uh, he grew he, 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 a lot yeah. of the Kennedy uh, ideas. Yeah, but then he also did a lot of his own too. All I'm saying is. He was a better president. Kennedy was a better looking president. You know, <laughs> he had the certain charisma and so on and so forth. Lyndon Johnson didn't have any charisma, but he could get the job done. Yeah, well, and, but he had Lady Bird and Linda Bird and all the birds. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, what, was the, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband. Uh, it, it's funny that it took an illegal alien in this country <laughs> get Nancy Pelosi to retire. You know the crime committed by the illegal alien. To get her to retire, Canada. I didn't. I wasn't aware she was but retiring. She, I don't think she's going to be running again. And uh, uh, there, there, uh, what I heard was she was talking about retiring so she could take care of her husband Paul uh, because of the. Brutal. I haven't even heard that. Yeah. Yes, I had. I haven't heard it. Where I, you know, well, where would I come up with that shit? Because you come up with shit all the time, Phil. <laughs> good, good shit. <laughs> you know. You know. All right. Well, mm -hmm. is it time? Yes, yeah, it is. Sure, we could. We could let. You mean to let some of the uh, uh, the, the hoi polloi? The, the hoi. I was going to use the same term, <laughs> hoi polloi, and the hoi, and also the polloi. Yeah. Let me well, see let me here. Think. First, let me get rid of your name. Poof, yeah. there it goes. And let me start bringing some of these people in. All right, there we go, there we go. There we go, there's a, uh, there's a. Uh, Is it time? Yeah. Uh, 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 wait a minute, who's got audio up? Okay, we're fine now. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi. Anybody want to tell Phil he's full of crap? Phil, you're full of shit. Oh, thank you very much. There's Whoa. Nancy. She's getting, getting her hair done. Today or yesterday. Hmm? She's not retiring. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that she's done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because of her connection to Trump. Hey. <laughs> God, where do you come up with this shit? Well, I come up with it on, uh, 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 what's well, not Michael Savage. I heard you come. Uh, Levine. Levine. Mark, he was coming over to your house for dinner, too. Mark Levine. Mark Levin. You don't get Levine. names right at all, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> There's Nancy. There's Nancy right there. Also, uh, Abrams is not the same kind of denier that Trump was. Abrams did not file any case saying that the vote count was wrong. Trump filed over 60 cases and lost every single one of them. Well, that's least a big difference. Court. I think it was 63 to be exact. Yeah, over 60. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, uh, yes, Alan. Okay, so I am on Fox News's coverage of the election. Mm -hmm. So the three Senate things that are going on right now that's not finalized is Arizona. Mm -hmm. Kelly has got a 1,100-point uh, uh, gain. Uh, what, Georgia, wait, wait, wait a minute. What do you mean, eleven hundred point game? Oh, uh, maybe I'm. Well, okay. Well, he's winning. He, he he's at fifty one point four percent. Yes. And Masters is at forty six point four. Yeah. So then, then Georgia Warnock is ahead, but you know the margin is very close. He's got uh, forty nine point two. No, he, and, I what I doesn't saw, matter. What I, wait a minute. 
Oh well, yeah, forty nine point two. That's right. And yeah, Walker, but and Walker has uh, forty eight point two. That's a big difference when you're when you've counted ninety nine percent of the vote. And then, then uh, in Nevada, state, nobody really cares about the, the Republican. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh. It's one. It's one senator. Oh, wait a minute. Make a difference. What's What's happening with Laxalt? He's behind now, isn't he? Uh, no, he's ahead actually. Uh, forty nine percent to uh, Cortez, whatever, uh, which is forty seven point five. Okay. <clears throat> and go then... ahead and dispute this, Phil, because it came right up Fox News. We know that Georgia is the Georgia is going to a runoff. It's going to be Nevada, and it's going to be Arizona that are going to be the close calls. Yeah, I, I, well, I'm, well, with I think Nevada. I'm with Alex. I think, Georgia. I think the runoff is a mistake. The runoff a runoff is terrible because it 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 where before you actually had an election. This is like sure. another election, and people just go, ah, I don't know if I'm going to. I'm tired of it already. Yeah, but you know yeah. what? I think it. I think in this case, it's probably going to do what it did last time: is invigorate the Democrats, and they're going to go out and push it over. Yeah, the you don't think the Republicans? Nobody got to what happened last time. You don't think More the Republicans? The people didn't want the guy, so that's why you got to have a runoff to see which one they prefer over the two highest polling candidates. Vote getters. Don't you think the Republicans are tired of Democratic elitist rule, and they're going to come be invigorated to get out? Since and Since when are Democrats out? elitist? You, uh, where, where did no, that that's come exactly from? what they were saying all morning on Fox. I oh, watched it all morning. Elitist? He's talking about Donald elitist. Trump while he was oh, yeah, we're, Democrat. Well, are we the party the of the wealthy? All, You're the yeah, party the of the limousine liberals. Limousine I listen to liberals. those guys sit there and talk about how the Democrats were all Hollywood and always going after the stars, and they want them all on the on on the ballot and, and the whole bit while they're sitting there pumping up Herschel freaking Walker. Herschel Walker, Herschel Walker said that he must not be a celebrity because Ob but they've Obama got never Herschel invited Walker. him over to his they've house. They've got Herschel Walker. They've got, who's that? Mehmet Oz. Yeah. Oz and all these other guys. There are no freaking better. I'm yeah, sorry. They, they are, don't go to parties. All at the little celebrities Obama's they can too, but they sit over there and they shine their little teeth and they talk about, oh, look at the Democrats and their prissy, prissy little shit. Both of them do no fucking better than the other. I'm sorry. Hmm. And you should. They be. sat there and they said, nin, 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 nin. and then you switch over to MSNBC and they go, nin, 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 about the Republicans. And it's a, it's a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I, I, I have come to the conclusion last night oh, and this morning that I think the independents are starting to rule the world and fuck y'all. <laughs> the swing vote is becoming the vote. Yeah. Jeff, you well, may Democrats have your browser on. Bodily rights. God, where did you come up with this shit? Not gonna... All right, make the guy's browser on again. Um, okay, Jeff, there's up at the top, there's an X that you can click on the GabNet. Okay. Good. You know, we, we need to turn that X into a picture of Donald Trump, and that way every time you get on, you'll see him and push the button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was pretty impressed last night and yesterday. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got Marjorie Trash Can Green. She won too, <laughs> huh? I told you she's one of the biggest fundraisers in the she's Republican the Party. Who gives a shit? Yeah, well, really. uh, a lot of Republicans because they are they're listening to the persons that bring in the most dough. You know, I mean, yeah, that's, no, I think that's I think the way it works. I think if this was twenty twenty four and the Republicans ran and Trump and DeSantis ran. Trump would be left in the dust today. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. This would be the nominee. This is this is a new world for Trump right now. Yeah, he he he's been yelling and screaming at everybody for two yep. days. Poor thing. It's next yeah. week. He's disappointed. I yeah. I don't blame him. That's what he said. Yeah. Mm. You know. Okay. Uh, one of these days, one of these days, he will realize that he only cares about himself, not his family. I, I wanted not a red that. wave. And we got a red dribble. There is, yeah. Well, that's right. Well, I mean, uh, this is the end of Trump, and I, I, I don't think we're going to see Trump. He may not even wind up running. You know, uh, I don't think he will. Uh, uh, his ego, though, is too huge not to. You know what I'm saying? 
right. uh, I, I think that going to we... do is it's going to destroy the Democrat Party, I think, because what it's going to do is going to force Biden to win, to run, mm -hmm. and no one wants Biden to run, which is going to put a big damper on the Democrat Party, unless they come up with somebody good, and nobody's going to run against Biden. Do you I don't, think, I don't think Biden will run? DeSantis will it's rise been as there the for four years, and then we're going to have to worry about who's going to be vice president. Yeah, mm -hmm. and who will it be? Because we don't want it to be Harris, do we? No. Well, or, who who would Marjorie we get? Taylor Green. Who would we get? Who who would be a good Democratic nominee? Quite honestly, oh, I would like Newsom. I've I've been thinking about it a lot, and I've heard him a lot, and I think. You know, it sounds weird, and I've thought about it since the last election. But I, Pete, Bud, but who, Pete Buttigieg, I like him. You know, something he's very smart does he's his job, smart. does a good he job of it. You know, doesn't get run. He's running the the transportation department beautifully. He he I doesn't know. stir anybody up. Yeah, he's smart. Nobody you know. seems to mind the fact that he's gay. Nobody cares. And he doesn't hide he it. Does. He, he shows up places with his husband, yeah. you know, or his wife or whatever but, it is. And he but doesn't want even, it. Even you if know. you find that right or wrong, it's not what's, what he is doing good for the country. Right. You know, I mean, how, I, I, how does a guy that's the head of transportation, he rides a bicycle to work? <laughs> what does that say? Well, that's Cheers. transportation. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, next to He'll be pushing the horse-drawn carriage. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, it is. I've never heard that. Yeah, he rides. But I, I wouldn't. I'd say that's great. I yeah, that doesn't sound bad to me. You want to do it, Phil? You want to ride a bike to work? <laughs> um, I'm going to get one of those Amish. Hey, hey you, you don't. You don't want that to happen. You'd really have to pity the poor bicycle. <laughs> oh yeah. <really. laughs> I'm losing. I ride a bicycle. Well, you, you know, you'd have to get time. one that's but like you know six thousand dollars. Think about it, and you think about it. He could possibly. Uh, bring a lot of Democrats, and he could probably uh, pull a huge swing vote. Is Gavin Newsom ready? Nah, he's got so much baggage. You know, they all have baggage. That would, that would be another a dirty. It would be a dirty. We need oh, a man. clean campaign from someone, mm -hmm. and I think that Buddha they don't Jedge have would, anything. Well, Who the judge would do that? Yeah, and and that's our problem right now is everybody has shit. Everybody you know, has bags. They would I, lie about Buttigieg. They'd make up something. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I, I, I would vote for anybody. They were Republicans, Democrats, anything. If if it was somebody that wouldn't run negative ads. Right. In other and, words, and I'm tired. Clean, there are two, have a clean background. There's two things that happen in advertising in politics this year. The negative ad, okay, you know, in which they spend the whole ad saying what's rat bad about the guy who's running for governor. Then they never say in certain ads, like if it is the person doing it, they never say I'm the Democrat, I'm the Republican. They don't want to admit what party they're from. No, it's a pack that's doing it. Yeah. yeah. What do they say in advertising that uh, all uh, you know, all mentions are, are good? You know, all uh, you know, even negative stuff. Get your name out. There's there. no such thing as bad publicity. Is the yeah, old is it. the that's is the old saying? And I got try and tell that to Hitler. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, Goebbels did a good job. Well, he did a good job trying to promote him, but he had the same problem that they have promoting Trump. Anyway. Go ahead, uh, uh, Tony's here. Can you imagine like the ads if you had a totally nice campaign? Hey, if you don't want to vote for me, you could vote for him. He's a nice guy. Imagine no, if you don't say compliment. that. Hey, maybe like, they oh, advertise. When, the when is he coming out? Never. Maybe maybe, maybe they'd say, advertise on the nice show on news. Mondays. Well, you know something. I get pissed off. Okay, I mean, yeah. I just get pissed off at the just this. The, this was some of the nastiest campaigning I've ever seen. What they and the ads for one side are always the ad against the other side. And then right. they never say in the ads, hey, I'm uh, Kathy Hochul. She's a Democrat. Vote Democrat. No, they don't even mention what she is. And you no. know what the Democrats are saying? The <laughs> Democrats, the Democrats are saying that they put so much money into uh, 
uh, uh, the uh, gubernatorial election in Georgia for mm -hmm. uh, for Stacey Abrams and Beto in Texas that they should have put the money into other races and this the, the billions that have been spent on on these elections midterm elections is it, crazy it, I was in Arizona for a week in yeah. uh, what about a month and a half ago I guess uh, yeah. it was in uh, September mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it was like a war in between shows. It was constant. And they were back to back. Candidate pounding one candidate to another candidate pounding the and they were the ones who were there was, you know, what's her name? Lake and the other one against each other. Hobbs, Hobbs. Back to back. And then they would go to another one right back to the other one. And it was it was just constant. Three minutes of being pounded, then back to our show. You, you know, Kevin, hardcore shit. I, I have to ask you a question. What? How do they know whether you voted or not? For instance, I didn't drop my ballot off until Sunday night, and I kept getting things on my phone that said you haven't voted yet. Uh, and, and so, do they know? You know, how can they know from my? They app, probably didn't my, know. They're probably taking a stab I, at it. I, I yeah, put it in the drive who, who, who did you sign up with? What do you mean? Who did you sign up that you didn't vote with? I mean, did you sign up with the county one time for a, a ballot? Uh, yeah, I'm a registered voter in Contra Costa County, but I usually vote. Uh, I fill out the thing and I drop it off in the drop box. But and did you time, ever sign up for vote tracking at one time? I don't think so. Well, and if you, you did at one time, you're in their system. We have vote tracking here in San Benito mm -hmm. County. And if yeah, you ever in Texas too. signed up I, for I go online tracking. and they'll say, yes, I have your vote. It will we'll mm -hmm. count it. And, and I, I right. donated I money. Buying, I donated um, money to certain campaigns. Uh, the district it doesn't matter if if, it, if you were if, it, if you did something with a campaign, it means nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. They don't track your vote. But if I just got mine uh, this morning, I can show it to you. This is a message from California, Secretary of State, on behalf of San Bernardino County. Our records indicate you voted in person at a voting location vote on November. I was the last voter last night because I love to be the last yeah. voter at three minutes to eight o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> because I run the voting center, and I always tell everybody, yeah. last voter. You have the choice. <laughs> and, so, yeah, I have a choice. And. Yeah. I signed up for this tracking thing, and they tell you when they mail your ballot, yeah. and they tell you when you voted, and then they'll tell you when it has been counted. Yeah. By the way, how did dialysis do in California? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> what? I, I, I voted that, you know, let them have dialysis without a doctor. What do they need a doctor there for? <laughs> you know, it's just uh, you get a nurse, you stick the thing in. When I go to give blood, I gave blood this morning to, you know, get some tests. And, uh, there were, you know, there was no doctor looming over it. They, they had a phlebotomist. They just, you know, well, it. yeah, but the phlebotomist handed you a razor blade because you're a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything. I leave the room. You're the one that's been at the hospital every day. <laughs> uh, no, no hospital. But I had your incident. I didn't have to go to the hospital, Alex. I eat bad I'm food. Pretty happy with our local. What priority. incident did you have? I uh, Sunday night. I ate bad pork, <laughs> and and got violently sick. How'd diarrhea. you know it was bad pork? Because that's what I ate that day. Well, the, yeah, but it could it be that you were sick from something else? Could have been. Yeah. Uh, how did you know Here, that it was he, that Well, bad? here's the best way to figure out whether you got food poisoning. Uh, look back six hours before you got sick right. and uh, find out what you ate. And if okay. it looks like mm -hmm. something would be bad, like was it six hours after you ate the pork? Two. Two? Yeah, probably wasn't. That wasn't food poisoning. Did you have your pork on Sunday or on Saturday? <laughs> this could be your problem. Sorry, Jeff, See, it was kosher pork. We, we told you about pork. You know, you haven't listened to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have never been that sick for one day. Oh. Bad Jew. You're a bad Jew, and God is punishing you. God is punishing you. <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, here, here's the thing. It came Sunday at 3.45 p.m. It says, my name is Wayne. I'm with the Contra Costa Republican Party, and records show that you still haven't voted. The election's Tuesday. You know? I got the same thing, and I don't even—I don't even—I'm not even a Republican. And and it, oh, it, was it from Wayne? 
Yeah, Wayne. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yeah. Wow. You got the same exact thing? They yeah. sent it out to everybody. Yep. Said, uh, only 32,000 of 130,000 Republicans in our county have voted. There it is. Hi, uh, hi Wayne. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was the same thing. I wow. deleted it. I deleted it. Oh, all right. Well, I don't delete anything, but no, I get, I get. Uh, it was a shit text, is what it was. Okay, so you know, I because I, I was wondering, how do they know? <laughs> you know? Well, they're taking oh, a I chance. Kevin just told you. Yeah. You know, how do they know? I, I you know, I get these, you know, the calls that say, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, we see here that you don't, you, your insurance is running out on your car." Right. You know, how do they know? Uh, no, yeah. no, I don't have a car. And I keep getting these calls about my car, and the fact of the matter is, is that uh, they they just take they're taking a chance. That's all they're fishing, you know. Yep. And uh, the the worst ones, and don't answer these, are the texts you get that go, uh, "We just your your check just bounced to Netflix, and we're going to cancel your service unless you f- yeah. go to this yeah. uh, this fishing. link." They're fishing for. Well, they're not uh, just fishing; they're looking to get your information. Right? Yeah, yeah. it's a phishing email to to get your information. None of these companies will ever send you something like that. And yeah. there's more of them all the time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I get about fifteen of them a day. People doing or yeah. either that or you 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 have won the this lottery or something and I didn't even. Answer oh, I get free drills every day. I could I could have you know a toolbox a mile long. Yeah. Yeah, you know, what happens if you click on that? How do they, you know, uh, you know you, you've won, you've yeah. won a full set of tools. You've won. Let a us unit, know. A generator. Find, and find out. So what do they do? They just they cl- they take your information or something? You know, they, they download it or yeah. I think you'll have Especially sixteen. If you go to one of their websites, you click on some link. You'll probably have sixteen email. fine Russian women waiting to marry you. Yeah, all virgins, all virgins. I I got I already got that. <laughs> we're not talking about you being the virgin. We're talking about the woman being. No, the virgin. you know, fine Russian women waiting to meet you. Well, you you do remember that the it was just you know this is not as bad as the times when we were getting uh, letters from the Nigerian prince. Oh you know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I'm still <laughs> getting those letters. I really? want to know where my money is. He hasn't put it in my account yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, how about, the, how about how about how about this uh, million mil, billion dollar? Uh, two, yeah, not, well, yeah. it's two point oh zero nine, but it, it comes out to almost a billion dollar payout. Somebody <laughs> wanted in Altadena, California, so yeah. California. and the person who owned the gas station where they bought it, yeah, you gets a million, million dollars. A million. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Well, I, I yeah. get paid bucks. Yeah, that's that's phenomenal. Plus, yeah, everybody in the world, world. <laughs> what happens is everybody wants to buy their ticket from that guy. That's that right. Well, that's stupid because it's when's yeah, lightning going to strike twice on right that one? Here. You know. Yeah, well, it's a lucky station or a lucky thing. <laughs> well, I I'm, I I didn't buy a a lottery ticket for this last draw. I didn't either. And uh, I'm glad I didn't because I found out that I wouldn't have won anyway. So you <laughs> know, I I saved twenty bucks. What numbers did you do? You pick the numbers, or you no, get the, no, the, the no, machine pick? No, no, no. Believe me, if I, they pick, if I had them pick the the, the numbers, uh, they would hate me because you know you're going, you're giving them a bunch of numbers, right? And, and now Tony, to put those he in. plays the numbers, and mm-hmm. uh, you know he deals with this old bag man in the back of a restaurant, <laughs> and he and he plays his number for the day. What what what's your, what's your number, Tony? Uh, I play my mother's uh, used car. Right? She uh, lights me six one three. So Six old, one three. How many years yeah. have you been playing that number? Oh, since she's gone, it's come out four. T- my brother asked me, "How many times has it come but out?" But is this a legitimate gone? lottery, or is this the number? No, I used to be dealing with a mafia guy. To make me play for her. Some thug. Six one three fifty fifty. A dollar I play. It came out two times straight and two times box. What's that? Two mean? years since she's gone. What's that mean? It's not good. Mean, like you know, if it hits straight, I get two ninety. Box is forty dollars. But I don't play every day. Sometimes I forget, and then I say. Well, I remember you playing this six years ago. Yeah, but that's when she was alive. I used to put it in for her. She used to yell yeah. at me, "Put my number in." So yeah. you put it in for her for years, and now yeah. you're putting it in for you. Yeah, I'm keeping for it going for legacy. I forget the guy. You know, that's you know. I just. How much it. does it cost, Tony? A dollar a day. Sometimes I don't put it in every day. That would that would break, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stake. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, let me see here. Oh, hey, listen, Phil, I want to take a, 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 up on something. I, uh, I, you know, as I, I, I subscribe to Hulu TV because I want to see, yeah. you know, how it works. And if we're satisfied with it, we'll, we'll cut the cord and get rid of the cable company. Uh, and so far, it's working okay. It's got a couple of little problems, but you know. And you said, well, tr YouTube TV is the one. Well, it's it's a good one. I think even Charlie uses well, YouTube. Well, I char I tried YouTube TV. Uh -huh. It's not as good as Hulu. It, no. It, it, yeah. Well, I'm and I'm talking about um, navigation. You know, and how you easy it, set it is. Up. Yeah, yeah. But the navigation on YouTube TV isn't that good. It really no, is. I got used to it. You know. Yeah, I know you got used to it, but I'm saying Hulu yeah. is, I think, slightly better if I were to, you know, give you a, a choice. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I would probably, I'm probably going to, I mean, I have Hulu TV for free for two weeks to see what it's like, and I keep trying it. No, not Hulu, but uh, uh, oh, YouTube. 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 And, yeah. and I just don't like it as much, you know. I just well, I like how it records all my regular shows. Well, yeah, but so does so, so, so does Hulu, but I can erase them. You can't erase YouTube TV. Does do you, you get a limit huh? on on how much you can read? Do you no, get a limit? No, I've, but I've I never like, recorded. I like to get show. rid of them so they're not all sitting there. You know. Oh, I've never recorded a show, so I, I don't think anything's there. What are all yeah. those? Bother me to have something sitting there. Yeah, what well, are all I mean, those uh, VHS tapes that all say Fox News on them, Phil? Well, you that's how I get my current news. <laughs> yeah, but they're old tapes. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that. We use thumb drives. And yeah, but stuff. I, I've kind, I kind of like the Hulu over the YouTube TV. But I'm still trying both to see. You know, by the I end like of the month, both. by the towards the end of the month, in about another week and a half or so, we'll make the decision. But I think we're going with uh, the Hulu. I think it's better than the cable. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, and, then, and the only thing I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep paying a hundred dollars a month to uh, Verizon for my high-powered, you know, uh, yeah. internet, internet pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the reason I like the old shows is that the commercials on the old shows, the stuff that they're selling, is so much cheaper than it is today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get a better deal. <laughs> yeah. So how how fast is your connection, Alex? I have a gig up and a gig down. Basically, yeah. a little I less, got, a little got, less than that. I have a gig down, but only twenty up. What? Yeah. What? Why? Why twenty up? I I don't know because because Comcast. it doesn't take that long to submit stuff. I guess for Comcast you, sucks. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have. Uh, it's, it's something like I know something like seven hundred and eighty uh, 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 up and uh, eight hundred and ten down. Or Alan, did like you that. you want to tell Alex about the neighbor that was stealing your Comcast? Oh, and, he told me and, the other day. Cops? He told we me. Told us, yeah, if you were listening, yeah, we we talked about it last week. <clears throat> yeah, they they found out that what what was happening. Tell tell everybody else because they may not have heard it. So my neighbor behind me, uh, they've been living in the house for I don't know six years or something. He strung a cable from the demarcation box on his house and got up on the phone pole and, and ran it down my cable to mine. And I wondered why my bandwidth had gone up so much. And so I contacted Comcast and Comcast sent a technician and said, what is this? You know, and I said, oh, I don't know, what is it? I don't go out in the backyard very often. You know, and he says, well, a cable seems to run to the pole and over to your neighbor's house. So they call they call the police and uh, the police investigates it. <laughs> did, and, did they uh, arrest the guy? Uh, mm. I think they're in the middle of an investigation. They did a search warrant on his house. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. That's old school. Apparently, yeah, really. That's apparently, the service? apparently, he was uh, getting sewer service from Phil's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let me see here. I gotta let these people in. Let what me see they here. Do? Who are they? Where, where are we? I, I got my microphone in the way of my mouse. You ready for new coffee, Tony? It's been a while. <laughs> oh, you can surprise me. Don't you send him things. coffee, Don't please. Send him any coffee. I love my coffee. I just bought Maxwell House. Here, here comes uh, Brian Neary, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, oh, happy, Brian. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh, is it your birthday today, Brian? Yeah. How, yep. how old are you? 108. Yeah. Well, that's for 29. 
and there's the very top of Jack Bishop's head. <laughs> and don't you like that bright light, the interrogation light? <laughs> Today I had him take his camera uh, 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 off the top of his monitor and show me something that he was trying to work with. And I think he does didn't readjust his camera. So now we're just getting his like, it, it's, it's kind of art. If you think about Kilroy, it. Kilroy was here. No, Kilroy is is uh, is Jeff. Jeff becomes Kilroy sometimes. Oh. <laughs> but, thank you. But here we have yeah. the whole thing. Are you somewhere other than your home, or is that your home? No, this is one of the other parts of my home. Oh, I because see. Because it's very cold it and is. windy today. How cold is it? Ooh, probably uh, 50, 40, something like that. You know what? You know what I had. Uh, Every night, no matter how cold, it was like 41 degrees yesterday morning. And we leave the window open a crack. It was stifling hot in the apartment, in the bedroom. And I can't, can't figure out why. And all of a sudden, I think I figured out why. I think there's some hot water pipes in the walls and in the ceilings that are warming the place up. You know, not you have not, a radiator, don't no, you? But, but the radiator wasn't on. Yeah, but, but there's pipes that feed the radiator. Yeah, and so everybody I'm, think, I'm thinking that's what's causing it. Hmm. Did I tell you that I finally figured out? I finally, I finally figured. I didn't figure it out actually. Who it was was Bubbles. Yeah. You know, I've been, as you know, short, a little short of breath and kind of, you know, feeling like I, I used to have asthma when I was a kid, and it kind of felt a little bit that way. Yeah. And I said to, uh, I was telling Bubs about this. He says, "Oh, I know what it is." They're working on your apartment, aren't they? Those bricks, and they're drilling in between the bricks, and there's all that dust, <clears throat> that silica dust. I looked it up. That can cause these problems. Wear a mask. No, I'm, no, I'm thinking of telling my landlord. If you don't stop it, I'm going to sue. But uh, you've been through that before, and you know that he likes to go to court. No, he doesn't like to go to court. I don't know, well, something like this, you know. I mean, I don't mind that they're doing this work, but, you know, there's got to be some... I know they do safety precautions for the workers, their OSHA regulations, and they're all wearing masks and respirators and everything else. But meanwhile, I'm sitting there with all this dust on my sills. Tell them to put some uh, filters get the in the windows up. Get a, get a mask. Filters in your place. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. Put, get those filters that recycle the air. And, well, I have and an air purifier, but, out of but but Marjorie likes to have the windows open. So have them have them put in some uh, HEPA filters. Is Marjorie having the same problem breathing as you no, are? No, no. But then again, I had asthma when I was a kid, so I'm more prone to those kind of things, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, but uh, uh, but the, but the, the, uh, Bubs kind of figured it out, I think, you know. I, I was wondering why am I having, you know? So, I keep telling you, it's the dead bodies in the wall. That could be yeah. too. I mean, there are a lot of ghosts in this apartment. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. You know. <laughs> um, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer uh, used it at one time. No, he didn't. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know why Jeffrey Dahmer always answered the door with a blender in his hand. He wanted to offer everybody a hand shake. <laughs> Ooh, kind of corny, sorry. Are there, are there now De Jeffrey Dahmer jokes going yeah, around? Isn't are. it a little yeah. late for Jeffrey Dahmer jokes? Mm -hmm. Oh, because yeah. of the TV show. Well, I, mean, I know true. because of the TV show, but it's still a little late. How many years ago was Jeffrey Dahmer? By the way, Marjorie watched that show and she liked it. Yeah. <clears throat> In, in Walnut Creek, it's 48 degrees. By the way, if you want to see a good documentary and you have Showtime, Spectre. I just saw it. Yeah. Good, exactly. isn't it? Phil Spectre. Very, very good. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Phil Spectre? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, Phil, they, they stayed like all, all crazy people are named Phil. So it's really good to <laughs> watch. Yeah. No, but I mean, he, he that's really good documentary. It's yeah. a good music documentary for part of it, and then it's the whole thing's about the trial about Lana Clarkson, and it also lets you know more about who Lana Clarkson was. And they said, "Oh, B movie actress," and that really wasn't you know she had better credits than that. She was on Who's the Boss and a lot of major TV shows, you know. So 
anyway. Yes, uh, yes, Alan. Oh, I just heard the thump. Uh, anyhow, I wanted to know which one of you, Al, you have a huge apartment. Jeff, is your house bigger than his apartment? No. Inquiring minds want to know. You got all these different it, rooms. His apartment's bigger than my house. Really? Yeah. Of 2,100 square feet, his apartment is 2,500 square feet. Alex, yeah. yeah. Well, Alex. This, his house, his apartment's bigger than mine, too. But he doesn't have a garage, and garage square footage doesn't count towards living space, but you got a good garage. Yeah, but do you realize, uh, and I did this for years, that we, especially when I lived in California, that we have a whole room in the house, not for the kids, not for the, your grandparents, not for your parents. We have a whole room in the house for your car. <laughs> right? You know, I, I when when prices finally drop to normal levels in California, I want a place. And my my only two requirements is a garage and an in laundry, uh, uh, you know, a, a laundry Ooh. in the unit. Yeah, you know, he's been talking about this for ten years. Yeah, but I made offers, and then all of a sudden the economy went crazy, and the and the uh, payments went mm -hmm. much higher. Uh, uh, but you and the, the, the price of houses ago. hasn't really dropped significantly in California yet. Boy, well, somebody it, told it, you that was going to happen, didn't they? It will <laughs> drop. It will drop. I don't care about the house prices; it's the property tax. We want yeah. we we ask a lot of equity in this house, and we'd like to we want to upgrade a couple times, but then the the taxes are just killer. Yeah. Yeah, they reassess, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever house up. you buy, that's the, your new taxes. So we, yeah, so we, we have so much money into this house; it's so, worth a lot more. Mm -hmm. But then, if we sell this one to get a, another house, yeah, the the property taxes are bumped up. So, mm -hmm. yeah. well, if you move to Lodi, you can buy the whole city for what your house is worth. Yeah, <laughs> and you're working there anyway. The Lodi. Well, he he he's working there. Mm. Now the latest thing that's happening in my life here yeah. is Marjorie wants a cat. Mm. Now, I don't want a cat. Now, I love cats. I always had a cat. I love cats. But I live on the eighth floor of an apartment building where if you open the windows, a cat could jump out. You got to get a screen. You know, oh, yeah, you got to get those screens. But then you know what you do with those screens? When it rains, oh. you take them out. And you, then when it's not raining, you put them back in again. I mean, up and down and up and down. I mean, this is like... Oh, it's raining, but, don't you close but, the window? But here's what she's done. We don't even... Uh, you know, we haven't even really discussed the cat, okay? Or what Sounds kind like of cat. Is. Or if I, And I told her, I don't want to get a cat. I don't want to get a cat because how much life do I have and how much life does a cat have? Okay? You know. Get an older one. I don't want the cat to be an orphan. All right. That's that's for that's for starters. Adopt an older cat. She goes out behind my back. Do you know right now she has waiting <laughs> in a box here to be assembled a cat yeah. tree. Oh, well, you got a cat. <laughs> a cat tree. We don't even have a cat yet, and she bought a cat tree. Get a stuffed cat, you know, one of those ones the kids play with, and yeah. put it on the tree. Yeah. <laughs> but a cat tree. And I'm going, what? You know, come on. A plush. They call them maybe, plush. Maybe it's for you to get exercise, Alex. You know, and what, what's the other thing? She got, she got some other stuff. Oh, yeah, she got a litter box. Yeah, so it's a done deal. You'll have a cat next week. <laughs> no, I, I the, litter box, the litter box is for Alex. <laughs> so I, keep telling, I keep telling her, you know, I I really love cats. I would love to have a cat. If I were 20 years younger, we'd get one tomorrow. we get two or three. You know, I love cats. I always feel you should get two cats instead yeah. of one because one should be pals for the other. When you're not there, they don't need you. You know, well, what if the one cat was pals for you, you know, and if you go, you go and just make, uh, uh, you know, have somebody that can take the cat if uh, that, that agrees to take it. Yeah. Uh, if uh, something uh, occurs in your life and you're no longer on the upside. Right. I guess, you know, you know, and this way the cat's taken care of. 
And, uh, you know, somebody's going to want Alex Bennett's cat. You you act like I still am a known quantity in this world. Well, you know, known to the to the eight of us. (laughs) You know, I'm a has been, folks. A big time has been. Oh, here we go. Here's a kitty cat. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Can you make it scream? What what they what somebody once said I can't remember who that actually you should get a, a get kittens and then when they reach like a year drown them uh, oh, and get another <laughs> one because they're all, they're cute for a while and then after a while they just become a cat. That's like kids. Now so that's well that's <laughs> yeah. why I say get, that's why I say get Siamese because Siamese maintain that kittenish quality most of their lives. They're very good at that. And then I, the, what I wanted, if I could really afford it, is what my ex-wife Ronnie Bennett had. Hello, hello, I want him to see himself. I want him to see himself. A cat is a cat is about ready to throw up. You showed it Fox News for thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, but I, you know, I would love, I'd love to have a cat. You know, I mean, that's it's not. Sounds it's like not, you're gonna have one soon. It sounds like I'm gonna have one soon. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, it's involuntary. You know, and I just, I'm <clears throat> getting ready to get another dog. I mean, I really miss my dog, and I've uh, sufficiently mourned her death. It's it's been well. That's the years. other thing. You know, I uh, I uh, I stopped having pets because I got sick of having them die on me. Yeah. You know, I mean, they didn't, they lived to be 18 years old, some of these cats, 15, 18, somewhere around in there, long life, but they're going to go eventually, and eventually you're going to have a really rotten day. Uh, you you yeah. thought that I took your cat, Shabbos, was it, uh, to, to have her put down? Oh, you no, know, I think that was... Uh, that was the guy from Bam Magazine's brother. What's his name? Uh, the heavy set guy? Uh, Eric, Eric, uh, 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 Ericin. Yeah. Yeah, Aroki, Arokian. 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 Uh, Arokian. But it, it was the brother of the guy who yeah. uh, with the publisher. Well, Bam I Mac. think it was my it was my it was Mouse, which was a uh, dark cat. No, Mouse was still around. Mouse was still around, so it was Shabbos yeah. that somebody took. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I, I, I know, although I think I did. I think I took Shabbos to the vet, and then I left. I didn't want to oh. oh, be there because uh, uh, what's his name, Arokian? He was at. The dining room table, and I was there, and and you and Susan. Yeah, uh, and I. You know, I gotta, I gotta say, it's easier to put your mother to sleep. No, than uh, a, a uh, uh, mouse, yeah. mouse died in the sun, on the couch in the in the living room. Yeah, that's the couch I slept on for a week when they evacuated my side of Sausalito. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that was quite a. We were we were stranded in in Sausalito. Yeah. That's right. Jesus. And you didn't hang yourself, Alex? He, he, he had it. I was his only guest. <laughs> On, uh, we did the phone. We did the between, show from the between, phone. Between us guys, I don't remember it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Phil's got a lot of us stories. walking around Brian's looking for women. Right. Yeah. What, what yeah. are you eating, Brian? My birthday cake. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Now, how old are you now, did you say? Yeah, I'm yeah. eight. I oh, know, eight. Now, come on, how old are you? I'm 55. Well, that's fine. <gasps> no, that's fine. That's well, fine. You it's still... the speed limit. No, you I don't. wish I was 55. <laughs> yeah, I wish I were 55. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to sing them happy birthday? No. <laughs> Shall we do it? Yeah, you're the band leader, Alex. <laughs> we did it already. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. You know, Sam, yes. do you have to pay a royalty for that? <laughs> do you know? Did you notice it was a little hard to do it in unison here? Because I think yes. some people are a little bit off from other people. Yeah, which I, we I don't have, notice because it's what not thing that. To say about Bill, what you I have no singing it? ability. I can't right. sing to save my life. I got he has you. enough trouble remembering somebody's name, pronouncing it. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me let's try this. I'm going to raise my hand. Okay. When I raise my hand, everybody say hello. 
Hello. Hello. See? Hello. Some of them are off. <laughs> yeah. Because some of you are getting a slower signal than other people. But we don't really notice it when we're just discussing stuff. Mm -hmm. Of course, Phil now is going to use that excuse. You know, I didn't. I'm way behind the rest of you guys. That's why I keep interrupting. Hello. He's got high speed. <laughs> no, I just get, I just get <laughs> bored with the conversation. So when I get bored with the conversation, I interrupt. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of cake is that? Uh, this one is a pastry, but the other one was like a, it's like a coffee cake. Well, yeah, I just remembered. My wife brought me two pastries, and I haven't eaten them, and they're maybe a week old now. Ooh. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. oh, because, no, I told, have her get me like a chocolate croissant and, and, and a raisin Danish, or as I call it, a raisin d'etre. Uh, anyway, raisin Danish, and uh, and and she puts it in a separate bag because God forbid I shouldn't take the raisin Danish from her raisin Danish bag, and um, and they're very good. They're from up the street. They have really is your good Danish bags. the one with the strict nine in it? That's why she doesn't want to share bags. I don't get it. The poison. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got two bags. One Danish for you, one Danish for Are her. You Don't you're Danish you're implying, because yours is you're implying that my wife wants to kill me. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I always love. I always love. You know, I like. Or I, I I came up with the bummer comic was my my bit. It used to be what I would do, and it went something like this: um, Ask me. I'm mean, just reply to me the way you always reply. My wife's so fat. How fat is, fat is she? That the doctor says if she doesn't lose weight soon, she's probably going to get a heart attack and die. So what do you do? You go to the store and get her a brand new chocolate cake and bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie's not fat. Well, you know we did what, what happened the other night. Oh. See, here, you know how everything that you do when you're married to a person, a uh, if that you do wrong goes into what they call their their it's their kind Special of their, list. their guilt spank yep. bank okay and they never forget they never forget like yeah. she will never forget the fact that i did not pick her up at the hospital in spite of the fact that every day i went to the hospital and was there but that day she wanted to come home and i said well look it'd be easier if you just got somebody to get you a car and come home from the hospital then me come all the way down there, pick you up, and then we come all the way back. Oh, boy. I, I know, Jeff. Don't, don't I, even I'm, say it I, again. I, I, I'm never going to do that again. Never going to do that again. So anyway, uh, so she's never let me forget that. Well, the other day, now I know when her birthday is. I don't have it on the calendar, but I know when her birthday is because all her passwords and things like that, I'll have her you know her birthday somehow involved in them so i know her birthday okay it's november 3rd all right but the other day i was having all kinds of problems with something or some uh, problems with my internet or well, i don't know what it was and i wasn't paying attention and all of a sudden she says you know you only got uh, 15 minutes to get ready <laughs> and i'm thinking get ready for what <laughs> And all of a sudden, I went, oh, my God, it's her birthday. And we're going out to her dinner for her birthday. So I immediately got dressed, okay? And I said, it's your birthday. And she says, yeah, I had to remind you, didn't I? <laughs> so now, ever since that happened, that goes along with the thing at the hospital. We start off with the thing at the hospital because that's the big one, okay? That's their big go-to guilt trip. And then we move over to this one now, and you forgot my birthday. Is the strychnine bottle getting emptier? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. in that chocolate uh, birthday cake. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I think you can't win with wives, can you, Brian? You know? Just apologize. No, so there, there's one... Well, he's not even married. There, oh, he's not even one. he's not even married, but it doesn't it matter. Might as well be. Yeah. Okay. So there's one story. One night, I got really mad and didn't come home. That one always pops up. 
<laughs> oh, really? Where were you? <laughs> what? <laughs> friend's house. <laughs> I was at my friend's house. Was it a male? Every... Was it a male friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Male. All right. All right. Then she has nothing to be mad about. <laughs> but I won't tell her who it was. Oh, Not yeah. Bill Meyer. Why won't you? Right. Why won't you tell her who it was? If she know knew who it was, she probably wouldn't be mad at you. No, I'm holding this till I die. <laughs> huh? You're holding it till you die? Yeah. <laughs> because it'll bug the crap. Now, you know, I know that you're not married, but you may as well be if you're putting up with this crap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, like yeah. my my ex-wife, uh, who was it? Uh, was it Ronnie? I think he used to always accuse me of cheating on her. And I went, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out and cheat on you and make it worth my while. You know, she was always accusing me of cheating on her when I wasn't. Of course, many she, put, she put that on the bottom of the list. Many times she wasn't accusing me when I was. But uh, the fact is, uh, uh, she, she was always accusing me. And I said, I may as well go out and screw my brains out and get, at least get my money's worth. You've been through this, Charlie. I saw Charlie nod. <laughs> yep. Yep. Our angel of the show has, has cheated on his wife. Oh, my God. Who? who? Who's the Charlie. angel of the show? Charlie, you are. I've never heard Charlie's angels. Life. You never heard of Charlie's angels? The angel <laughs> of the show? <laughs> oh, God. Now, it. resistance is not futile. Okay, what's the rest of it? It's voltage divided by current. Is voltage divided by current comes up with that, and, and that's yeah. resistance. Yeah, and then that's not it? the ohm sign. Who's the inventor? Ohm is the sign for resistance. And what does it say beneath that? It just says the same thing. It's voltage divided by current. Oh, I see. Okay. So who's Tesla? Tesla's the voltage guy. Tesla was Tesla. a very, very Nikolai Nicholas Tesla Nikolai Nikolai. Nikolai. Yeah, he was the Nikolai. alternating current guy as yeah, opposed yeah. to edison who wanted direct current he used That's to work correct. for edison and he left edison yeah. because edison wouldn't go with the idea of of alternating current yeah. uh, and alternating current was maybe more lethal than direct yeah. current but but the fact was that it could go further because yeah. am i right when i say this you could go yeah. like 100 miles with one line of ac yeah. But you could only go about ten miles or something with ace with uh, with direct you current. Well, uh, that, that guy ended up working for Elon Musk. Yeah, no, but what happened was, <laughs> what happened was is that uh, 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 Edison lost a lot of money because he built all these direct current yep. power stations, and they had to have like every every. Five or six miles, they had to have a whole new station. And he so there was a, there, there was a uh, a thing in the news called the War of Currents between the two of them. Yeah. And Edison wanted to prove that alternating current was a lot more deadly, and so he would he would hook up electrodes to an elephant or to yeah, he killed an elephant. And he killed him. No, no, worse than that. It was the reason the electric chair was invented. Yeah, it was invented by Edison to show how horrible uh, alternating current was. Yeah, um, uh, and yes, he also he electrocuted an elephant. Yes, which there's a video, there's a film of. of. I mean, yeah. uh, it it it, uh, it and and yes, alternating current was probably more dangerous. But when you start to get a quick shock, you just move your hand away. You know, have your natural reaction. I thought a lot of the patents that Edison had, he garnered from other people. No, he didn't garner anything from other people. He stole oh, he the stole. invention. <laughs> <laughs> he stole. That's it, what I meant. The electric yeah. light bulb, I think, was his. I don't yeah. think anybody else had done that. Uh, motion I'm pictures. Sure. Motion pictures weren't his. The phonograph, I don't think, was his. Uh, what about the telephone? They were, uh, he didn't hit him. Oh, invented, oh boy! You know, Marconi, Marconi invented the television. Yeah, Marconi invented the telephone. Mm. No, it was Edison. Oh, invented the telephone. Yeah, no. did, 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 it was Alexander, Alexander Graham, Graham, Graham Bell. Bell. That's what, el it. what else did Alexander Graham Bell do? Did he start bell bottoms? What did he start? Do you know, uh, uh, 
Alexander, yeah, he's okay. You're going to be amazed by this. It was not AT and T, right? No, the National Geographic Society. Really? Oh wow! And Ooh. National Geographic no. magazine. That was Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. Uh, wow. So yeah. Nikola Tesla had like thousands. Nikola. Of, Nikola, yeah. Nikola Tesla had like thousands of patents. Oh, ama and he was amazing. He was the wizard of electricity. <laughs> Absolutely. He died penniless. Yep. Yes, in a hotel in New York. Yep. And uh, and, and Edison got very rich, you know. Yes. But uh, he, Edison protected his patents. I mean, he uh, had a patent for motion pictures. And he would send people out. And so people would make their own movie cameras and make their own film and put it in the movie cameras. And then he would send his goons around to break up the cameras <laughs> because they weren't paying into his patents. So that's why they all left the West Coast. The Fort Lee, New Jersey was where all films were being made. They left here and went out to the West Coast into Hollywood. And that's how Hollywood got started because it was a bunch of producers wanting to get away from the patent trust that Edison had. So, was there a so, movie or something about the guy that invented the intermittent windshield wiper and how he spent his life suing Ford for stealing his idea? A movie? Yeah. I never heard of it. I've never was heard either of a movie movies. or a book. You heard of it, Charlie? I've heard the story, but I never saw a movie or heard oh. of a movie. Yeah. The, the Boy, guy that would been, be an exciting movie. It stars Donald Trump. Yeah, well, the guy who invented the intermittent windshield wiper i guess you know it was a pretty novel thing and i think it was ford that stole it and didn't want to pay him and he spent all his fortune and almost his entire well, life there was another guy i'm trying to remember his name right now um who uh, invented uh, invented well there was a guy who invented television before rca did uh his what was his name that was in san francisco san francisco yeah um, uh what's his name uh, yeah, on, yeah on I, 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 I would remember it if I if some Philo, Philo Philo T. Farnsworth yeah ah. Philo T. Farnsworth inventor of television what he was is he as he was a kid when he thought it up he was in, working his father's farm and he was making rows for farming and it came to mind hey if you could do that across a tube or something in, se in sequence maybe you could send a picture and he, I don't know where he got that idea from. That, you know, that's even where, the tube. That's where he got the idea. <laughs> yeah. From working his father's farm. Yeah. Wow. Look at who has green hair. Yeah, you look like Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah. 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 Don't insult her. I'm, no, I'm, Tulsi oh. Gabbard, she's, she's pretty good. I, I'm very impressed by her. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, I, didn't Lauren Bob Bobert lose? I don't think. Think so. I don't think it's been called yet, but she was behind. She was behind, yeah. Good. I hope she loses. She's a... Yeah. <laughs> a, a, 10 12. A C word. A C word. Yeah. Hey, listen, I think we're about ready to hit the theme here. Hit the theme. Three, three minutes. There we go. No. No. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're right. Uh, no, you're, we're, we're going right on two minutes. Now it's two minutes. Yeah. 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 Ooh. What, what, what's she saying to you? Is she trying to tell you some stuff? What? Yeah. What? what? Did he care? Anyway, hey, listen. I got to thank Phil, and I got to thank uh, Kevin, and I got to thank uh, 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 Charlie, and I got to thank uh, uh, Alan, and I got to thank Jeff, and I got to thank Tony, and then I got to thank Brian Neary, and at the last minute, Adrian, for joining us. Adrian, how you doing, Adrian? Yes, wave. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Tell daddy doesn't look over 107. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What'd you give your daddy for his birthday? What'd you give your daddy for his birthday, Adrian? What? What'd That's you give daddy for his birthday? Just say me. She said a card. Well, apparently, apparently he's going to be able to have this to hold over your head when you get older. You forgot my birthday. <laughs> Anyway, hey, listen, everybody, give a big Hi, wave dude. goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye as well, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. 
Let me just uh, do a few things here to get rid of them. Uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's going to be here with the intersection uh, uh, to, you know, have a discussion with you. He'll be doing it uh, on Skype at GabNet Live. Uh, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life, right here at 11, uh, 1030 uh, East Coast time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know, tell her I love her, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody.